My name is Thomas Costanzo and uh, today obviously is 9-12 and eight years ago we were attacked or there was a activity in New York where we had some buildings fall down and because of supposed terrorists, outside terrorists. I think there's a lot, a lot of evidence that indicates that there is, that it was done covertly by our own government. And <laughs> I think that if anyone dis disagrees with this, that you need to check out the evidence. All right, what's your there question? Is what's evidence. Your, what's your question? Well, Karen Johnson on the Senate floor okay. brought up. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, guys, guys, I, I, I can handle this. Thank you. What's the question? <laughs> Senator Karen Johnson brought up all these, a, a great number of these inconsistencies with the official story that's been passed down through all these different media locations okay. and, and, and we have done nothing in this state to uh, look into, investigate the true cause of what happened on 9-11 so and I'd like know to know what the state of Arizona is going to do to investigate 9-11. Does anybody on this panel want to uh, answer that question? All right, all right, all right. Let's be respectful of each other's differences and use our God-given ability to reason and to discourse to solve our problems. Once again, yeah, every, I'm sure quite a few of us think that each other are idiots, and I disagree with this gentleman, but he asked a question, and let's you know, have an answer. In my 18 years in the Senate, we have a lot of people who have different ideas who come in front of us, and I, I never reject anybody's ideas, no matter how outlandish at first glance, I think they are. And so when Senator Johnson raised, hold on, hold on. When Senator Johnson raised those ideas on the Senate floor, my first thought was, well, I don't want to tell you what my first thought was, but I'll tell you this, that I took the time to go in, to look at the physics, to look at the arguments, to look at the documents, to analyze that in every way, because I wanted to understand where they were coming from. And I, I think I understand where they were coming from, but I think the evidence is just overwhelming that we all know with great certainty as to why that took place. But I take everybody seriously, even no matter how outlandish their ideas at first, because sometimes you find out that it, they're not outlandish, that they got, that there's something there, that there's a kernel of truth that we can all learn from. Yeah, but anyway. Huh? Um, and he has the right. Your name, I wanted to get your name for that because you. I'm Morpheus. Morpheus. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say you're pretty brave to get up there like with everybody shouting at you like that. That's, That's something I do. Yeah. Tyranny response team. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Nick Coons? He's running for. He's a libertarian. He yeah, he's running for. Uh, Is he on? He won the one of those days. He's one of the yeah, he's the feathered bastard. He's the the man. Yeah. Are you going to be on the show? Oh uh, yeah, probably show. Wednesday. Okay, cool. Looking, look yeah, this should be fun. <laughs> but the bastard, he no, it should right be fun, man. Sure, why not? This guy what do you got to lose, right? I mean, it's it's on the internet, so it's not it's not a real radio show. Yeah. <laughs> we're, no, we're gonna uh, in, uh, in October we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be on TV. Yeah. yeah. No, that's well, you know, Ernie's all right. I got no problem with him as a person, you know. <laughs> I disagree with him on almost everything else, but, hey, but it's all good. Yeah. That's why we are we live in the United States. We have the right to disagree that's with true. each other, right? That's true. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm down for just, uh, civil discourse, or sometimes un un uncivil discourse. Sure. <laughs> That's okay, too. Right. You know, the guy fall Fox Mans, you know, I have, to, I have to say, like, whenever I see those... Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm not insulting you directly, but I, I just, when I see those, I just assume the person's an idiot. Cool. You know what I mean? Because, like, why this, like, kind of comic book fixation on one movie? I mean, it's kind of goofy, right? Right. Well, why do you, I mean, you don't think people will take you less seriously when you're doing the Guy Fox mask thing? Uh, if you were just like presenting yourself yourself, you're going, when people go around with the Guy Fox mask thing, I just like go, geez, this is like a nerd who reads too many comics. I got books. another mask. You got my other mask? What's the other mask? Oh, where's the other mask? I got a better mask. It's a newer mask. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, so I have these masks, Once too. Once again, you know, the comic book fixation oh, kind of, it's a, uh, yeah, yeah, it's sort working. of... So yeah. yeah, what's what does that do for you? Is that like uh, is that like a 
I mean, I, I you know, this, once again, this also just, looks kind of silly. The picture you know. says a thousand words, man. Yeah. Here you have this guy who's masquerading around. Are you, are you afraid of him? Or are you afraid of him? Um, yeah, I'm afraid of him to take my money. To take your money? Yeah. But not any less. I'm a little more afraid. Did, they, did, they, did the government take your money when Bush was in power? Yeah, they did. I was afraid of him, too. You You're afraid of him, too? Yeah. Probably rightfully so in that case, you know. And who was the guy before him? Clinton. He was a thief too. I was afraid of him too. He was a Reagan guy too. I didn't. You know, I didn't. Reagan. See he was a thief. Afraid of Reagan. Reagan was a big thief. Huh? Yeah, they're all thieves. Oh, okay. I didn't see the. I didn't see the neo-Nazi stuff. You know, the Nazi stuff with uh, as applied to like Reagan or Clinton and other. Why? Why this fixation on Obama? And we're like, smarter now than we were back then. Oh. We're more educated. The internet has opened our eyes really? to everything. It's a let. You know, before all we had was the basic media. You know, we had ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox is even recent in the last one. Really, it's really sophisticated, like comparing Obama to Hitler. Uh, Obama to I who? think that I know that there are statements that he has made in his speeches that are mirror images of statements that he's that Hitler made. That I know. Um, I think that uh, he killed six million Jews. Yet? Well, I mean, yet, yet. No, right? it's see, that's kind of a misnomer. Hitler didn't kill just Jews. Hitler that's killed. It's true. It's just all you it's, hear about is the Jews. So who is Obama killed? Well, he's killed a lot of people in Afghanistan. It's yeah. not that he's killed people. Has he killed a million? He is. He has a million. Well, oh, you guys are the ones making the comparison. He thinks like you should know that. Yeah, well, how there's long? Been a, there's been a million people that have died in Hitler's Hitler exactly. Huh? It's, with the Bush War, the Obama is continuing. Yeah. Over a million yeah. people have died. Contrary to the He has no plan to get out. He's trying to get out of Iraq. No, he's not. No, he's not trying to get out of Iraq. He's already just got done saving another. Starting a new one in Pakistan. Well, they're trying to. Yeah, but this is a problem. You don't get out this by putting problem. more this, people over. This is a problem. He didn't start this problem. It doesn't matter. He can end it. He has the power to end it. I, to a certain degree, I agree with you because I, I, I would it's like... It's a Democrats war now. Yeah, yeah it is their it is. problem. I'd like to see them get out of Iraq quickly. I too. Afghanistan, not maybe not as quickly because of, you know I'd like to I'd like to at least see something there that's not going to the, the whole point create of the another war Taliban is that I mean and we learned government. this back in World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Korea, all the same. They're yeah. wars that are created to not actually be wars. You know, uh, Vietnam was one of the largest money funnels this yeah. country's had. Who yeah, won right. Vietnam? Wasn't us. Yeah, no, no, I agree. Military Nobody companies, the company well, sells the bombs. The banks won Vietnam. Yeah. Because of all the major money that we borrowed from yeah. them to yeah. fund them. Yeah. That's why we've created the war on drugs, the war on terror, and the war on all of these basically non-existent entities. Well, I agree with you can't that. win I'd those agree with wars. much of that, yeah. You're any, basically, you're now a terrorist if you are... We're all terrorists. You are ex-governor Napolitano. She specifically stated in her little writing that she that accidentally got out apparently that it, with a list of things I've got a copy of it at the house. Yeah, yeah. That you know if you're a terrorist threat, if you are. Okay, shake hands. Yeah, I don't want to shake oh, hands. Okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll throw up the peace sign. Okay. 